Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's going to be a busy day around here. Um, I figured I'd do a little video explaining why we're even on YouTube. Why do people document their lives and put it on YouTube? Their every day-to-day -day lives. What causes people to do that? Maybe throughout the day? We'll give a few explanations as to why we do it. Come along. All we're going to do today is get the yard buttoned up before <laughs> before the snow comes. Uh, it's been good. It's been in the 50s. It's been dry. The leaves are insane. But we're trying to keep up with it because we know that once the rain comes, the rest of the leaves will come. There's about a gazillion outside right now. And I know everybody says, leave it for the bees, leave it for the bugs. Trust me, there's going to be plenty over the winter to decompose. I would have mountains, mountains of leaves if I left all of them. I don't need that much. <laughs> My yard doesn't need that much. So we're going to do what we can to get the yard as buttoned up as possible before winter. And in the meantime, we'll explain why we're even on here telling you it. See you soon. First things first, gotta get a fire going. As I sit here, doing my very important job of manning the fire. Tito's doing all the hard work. I'm burning wood. Feels good over here though. But as I sit here and I look around and I see all these leaves, it gives me a few minutes to contemplate and answer that ever-burning question, why? Why, oh why, do we put ourselves out there on the internet? Well, one reason is because one day we're just going to be a memory. That's it. Just somebody's memory. Just like the leaves fell from the tree, we all decompose, we'll be gone one day. Who knows what's going to happen to this little chunk of land that we call our home. But for now, we have big plans for her. We're going to create our very own little park. Doesn't look like much now. <laughs> but one day it will be. Let's see. You see it? Hmm. Oh, there he is. He's making all kinds of noise. Let's see if we can get Goes. You know what those are? Two points if you said chemtrails. Another reason we have a YouTube channel is to spread awareness. Those are not contrails. You're being kind, folks. Those are chemtrails. My friends are talking to us. I 
I think my friends are trying to remind me to tell you that we're all connected. We're connected to one another. We're connected to this earth. We're all connected. So, another reason that we do YouTube is for the connection. The connection to you. To one another. We reach people in other countries, in other states. It's nice. It's nice to make friends. It's nice to see other people's points of view. I think he's enjoying himself. They'll be pulverized to dust in no time. You know, we've had these lights out here for about, oh, I don't know, a year. They're solar. We're going to move those today. We're going to put them on the cutter. Why? Well, because we're going to be changing the lighting out here to something much different. I think it'll look cool. It is shaping up to be an absolutely glorious day. Despite the chemtrails. The birds are chirping. The yard's getting cleaned up. We have a nice warm fire that I am doing a wonderful job keeping lit. Gonna have some projects done and some good conversation. Yeah. We're gonna get to hear from Tito, see what his opinion is and why he does YouTube. We're complete opposites. <laughs> if any two people are complete opposites, it's us. You'll see. We're enough alike to have common goals and enjoy each other's company every day, all day, without a problem. And we're enough different to keep each other interested. Here he comes. It's got me working like a slave. <laughs> I do not. Yes, you do. Little fire. Right? It's a good fire. Look at that. We're nice and toasty. I don't feel a thing. Come closer. It's all blowing your way. <laughs> Come closer. <laughs> okay. Hey. What do you think the reason is that you do YouTube videos. Why I do YouTube videos? Mm-hmm. Be honest without being without being such a <coughs> perfect person to me being who I am. I'm not trying to be uh, fake in no kind of way. So pretty much I've uh, grown to be on YouTube for many reasons. One of them is getting to know other people around me. You know, um, we look at people on a daily basis and pretty much, they pretty much judge you without even knowing. You know, and that's, that's, that's sad. I've, I've been noticing that a lot. Uh, pretty much to, to get involved. People don't, don't know how other people live. Nobody. I mean, it, it's just whatever's in front of you, that's what you see, that's what you do. And whatever you decide that you want to plan to do for vacation, whatever, man, there's more than life to just going on vacation and, and, and just planning on a vacation. If you ever 
wonder what it would be like to just get up and just go without asking your boss, uh, hey, can I take this week off? Oh, man. I mean, I got a lot to say, but uh, this, she's not going to have enough time for just one video. But through the videos, you'll get to see what, what I'm like. I like to see what everybody else is like out there in the world. You know, everybody has something in common around the world. It's sad that we don't communicate with people outside your circle here. You know, it's, it's, it's good to see the world through somebody else's eyes. Because you may not even get to see that. You know what I mean? So that, that's why I'm, I'm on YouTube and, and, and whatnot. You know, I have, I have family of my own. I got boys. They're out doing their family thing. You know, they're busy with their life. I don't expect them to be at my lap every day, you know, whatnot. Uh, although phone calls would be appreciated. But um, no, no, everybody's got a life. Uh, what life do you have? You know, we all learn by from each other. That's how we evolve. Now that I see it, man, well, we suckers. Every single one of us. Because the guy that's got the most money is the biggest slave. The one who has the most money is the biggest slave. Because what did you do? You played by their rules. That's what you did. So, along the way, along the video, hey, if you like my, if you like our videos, we, collect, we gladly appreciate it. We know this ain't for everybody, and we respect that. I'm just being honest. My point of view. You don't have to like it. Okay? Peace. I tried to warn you. <laughs> Opposite in a lot of ways. But our end goal is always love. You know, there's something magical about fire. Isn't it beautiful? Let's go cook something. Oh yeah, some pork chops with some chili powder. Mm-hmm. Got some sage. I love sage. Makes everything so savory. Gotta get that cayenne pepper. It's good for you too. And basil. I love, love, love basil. I'm going to grow it this year. Some minced onion. Some oregano. I might grow some of that this year too. We don't use salt. You can if you want to, but we don't do it. That's time. You have temporizer. Look at it. You do it so well. Not the first time I've been told that. <laughs> Rub a dub dub. Let me get the garlic. Wait a minute. What do you mean, ain't the first time you've been told that? You've said it before. Oh. <laughs> Man, talk about garlic. <laughs> That was your idea. Well, I won't have high blood pressure. <laughs> Not that I do now. Well, I fixed that myself. That's right. It's gonna be mighty garlicky. And meaty. And juicy. <laughs> Keep the vampires away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means I can't eat none. You're a dragon, baby. Not a vampire. Make a bet. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys, we have 
an eggplant, a yellow pepper, a yellow squash, a yellow banana pepper, radishes, a yellow onion, and a turnip. Let's turn all of this into this. Oh yeah. Let's see what he thinks about it. There you go, honey. Break time. Well, dang. This is going to be good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Lucy, Lucy, you're not a cow. Tito's outside hanging the lights on the gutter. I'm gonna make us some fennel tea. Fennel tea is really, really good to drink after you eat your dinner. Super easy recipe. Spoonful of fennel seeds and some boiling water, enough for a cup or two. Gonna drink it by the fire while I tell you all about the benefits of this wonderful tea. A quick search on Google will tell you everything you need to know. Like the fact that it has potassium. It helps with respiratory problems sore throats and sinus pressure. It's an antifungal. So many good benefits from this stuff. Check that out. It has kirsten. That stuff removes all the bad stuff from your body. If you have stomach problems, this is the stuff you want to drink. It helps with bloating, and cramping, and gas. It helps with the digestive process. Good, good stuff. It boosts your immunity. Good stuff, folks. Get you some fennel seed. It balances hormones. Ladies, that helps a lot. It reduces inflammation, so if you have arthritis, good stuff for it. And it lowers blood pressure. Look at that. Life is about stories. This is ours. Since the dawn of time, people have been telling stories. And the bottom line is, that's why I have a YouTube channel. It's all about the stories. Stories that inspire, stories that teach, stories that explain who we are, what we're doing here, and what's after this. Lots of stories. Lots of stories to tell. To tell you, to leave behind for our children, 
and our grandchildren and future generations. You ever wonder what your great-great-grandmother ate for dinner? Well, my great-great-grandchildren are going to know what I ate for dinner tonight. It's all about stories, guys. See what we got going on. I like it. Mm-hmm. Not a good day. Close it here, guys. Next time. Have a good night. Thanks for coming by and seeing our point of view. That's it. That's all.